Hello everybody, it's Christina Taylor from Christina Taylor Books. As promised, I have come on as close to one o'clock as I can to do you a live reading of one of our stories for Libraries Week. It's Libraries Week this week, so it's a great opportunity to begin to share stories with your child, either in your local library or at home. If you do want to purchase any titles, I can help you in choosing the very best ones for your child. I love this series. This is the Usborne Phonic reader series so each title focuses on a different phoneme and it's just a short snappy fun rhyming story that is handy for you to read any time of the day but especially in the evening just before bed um, great graphics and really lots of fun so you can watch this live or you can watch it back and play it back to your child in the evening if you would like a shout out on the video tomorrow that I do, then do just comment on this video or send me a message and I will do your child a shout out for tomorrow. So, 10 pin penguins. In the front of this book, you can also view some of the other phonic readers that we have here, which are equally as funny and as beautifully illustrated as well. There's also a QR code at the back in which you can scan to listen to the story so your child can do read along. At the Penguins Bowling Alley, there's a, contents, a contest on today. The winner gets a crate of fish. They just can't wait to play. Whoever knocks down 50 pins takes home the splendid prize. Benji's first to bowl a ball. Just watch this shot, he cries. His ball is really speedy, but I've missed the pins. Oh no. The ball goes rolling down a slope and grows a coat of snow. It's getting bigger and bigger as it rolls along. Benji's next turn comes around. I need an awesome score. He doesn't hit a single pin. I've gone wrong, like before. Next time Benji tries too hard, his ball flies through the air. His fourth ball zooms off skyward too and lands up who knows where. Benji has one final try, but thanks to icy snow, the ball has frozen to his wing. Oh my, I can't let go. The ball is stuck to his hand. Oh no, what's he going to do? Whoa, moans Benji in a daze. He spins head over tail. At least he strikes a pin this time as out of sight it sails. Penny Penguin takes the prize. She knocked down every pin. Poor Benji only managed one. He's sad he didn't win. Poor Benji. But as the penguins waddle home, there comes an odd surprise. A snowman with a red pin nose and bowling balls for eyes. It's a funny looking snowman. Did you make this? Sea Lion asks. I guess so, Benji sighs. It's the South Pole Snowman Contest, son. And you've just won first prize. So he did win after all. He won the snowman competition. So this is an engaging, eye-catching series which makes learning phonics fun. Each story introduces beginner readers to a wide variety of phonemes in a lively rhyming tale. David Semple's bright detailed illustrations bring the stories to life, encouraging young readers and listeners to return to them time and time again. So just a little bit of information about phonics for you if you want to listen. Phonics is a method of teaching reading which is used extensively in schools today. At its heart is an emphasis on identifying sounds of letters or combinations of letters that put together to make a word. These sounds are known as phonemes. 
So there's 26 letters in the alphabet, but there's over 40 phonemes. So, for example, the letter A makes the A, A, A sound. But when put with the letter Y, it can make the A sound. So phonics is a way of teaching our children what all of these different graphemes mean. Okay? Learning to read is an important milestone for any child. The process can begin well before children start to learn letters and sounds. And the sooner the children can discover books and enjoy stories and language, the better. So exposing your children to books so that they fall in love with reading is so, so important. And exposing them to good stories that they'll want to pick up and learn to read is really important. It's also really important that once your child can read independently, that you carry on um, reading with them. Because that's a lovely thing that they like to share with you, even when they can read. Lots of parents, as soon as their children learn to read, they stop sharing books with them because they can do it themselves. But actually, the child gets a lot of benefits from sharing stories and taking turns to read, etc. So if you would like to ask any more questions about teaching your child to read, or you'd like to know what the best books are for that, or if you have a reluctant reader that you want to help engage in stories again, just get in touch and I'd be happy to help. Okay, guys, this is a great book. It's uh, really festive. It's great for Christmas, but it's also really seasonal and nice for winter as well. I hope you enjoy it. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow.